Hey everybody, I'm Kayla from All Day ABA and welcome back to my channel. My mission is to make behavior analysis fun and accessible for clients, therapists, and even supervisors. Today we're going to cover A2 in the 5th edition task list. A2 discusses the philosophical assumptions of behavior analysis. If you haven't watched A1 yet, feel free to do so after this video and it is called Goals of Behavior Analysis. In this video, I'm going to teach you about selectionism, determinism, empiricism, parsimony, and pragmatism. The first philosophical assumption we are covering today is selectionism. Selectionism is a three-step process which includes variation, selection, and retention. If you want to learn more about this, I will link my source in the description box below so that you can go check it out. The second philosophical assumption you need to know about is determinism. Determinism assumes that the universe has laws, rules, and order, and that phenomena occur alongside other events and not accidentally. It also assumes that these events are able to be studied. Empiricism is the third philosophical assumption that we are going to be talking about today. It is the study of phenomena with objective observations that are not based on biases or hunches, but are rather based on data. Our fourth philosophical assumption is probably going to be familiar to many of you, and it is called parsimony. Parsimony dictates that simpler, more logical explanations are usually the reason for things, and that those have to be ruled out before jumping to more complex explanations. I have often heard this term used in relation to the medical field when it comes to diagnosing patients. There's a phrase that says, when you hear hoofbeats, think horses, not zebras. And this phrase is essentially um, relating back to parsimony, talking about the simpler, less complex explanations for what you're seeing. The fifth and final philosophical assumption we will be discussing today is pragmatism. This is a philosophical framework which enables professional practice improvements through analysis of outcomes and social values. I really hope you learned something today. And just to recap, we talked about selectionism, determinism, empiricism, parsimony, and pragmatism. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share so that others can learn more about the field of applied behavior analysis. Don't forget to turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. If you are looking for flashcards to study these terms, I have linked my flashcards bundle below. Visit the All Day ABA blog if you would like to read behavior analytic content after watching these videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!